Now we'll continue our conversations on Sunrise Daily with uh, Adeto Kumbo Mumoni, Executive Director of the Social Economic Rights Ad Accountab and Accountability oh, Project. Yes. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure being here. Yeah. Um, you're a lawyer. Yes. So let's start off with that question of the confirmation of the acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. Yes. You heard the senior advocate of Nigeria talking yes, in that yes. film we played. What's your position? Uh, uh, the, 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 you cannot have, in matters like this, you cannot have any position except the one provided for by the law. And what is the position here? It is as provided by, for by the Constitution. We are, talking, we are not talking about section 231, subsection 1 in the first place. Now, now the, 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 the whole of section 231 of the Constitution is talking about what happens in the appointment when the seat of the CJ becomes vacant. Now, the seat of the CJ became vacant because the man who was there before had risen to the age of 70. The normal retirement age. What happens thereafter? The NGC is supposed to make a recommendation to the president of the most senior judge, most senior justice of the Supreme Court in the hierarchy. It happens that the president, the acting CG, was the most senior judge. The recommendation has been made to the president. Now, what should happen immediately is that when that recommendation is made, the person is nominated in the active capacity, recommended in the acting capacity. It happened on the 10th of October that the recommendation was made to the president, recommending that this man acts as the CJ, pending when the president will send the name to the Senate for confirmation. That's what the constitution says. Now, the truth of the matter is that in matters like this, the president has absolute power in this respect. He will be the one to forward the name to the Senate. Until that name is forwarded to the Senate, the man acts, stays in the acting capacity. Now, the Constitution says this acting capacity shall not exceed three months. Now, if the, if the man was sworn in the acting capacity, and that is the fact, on the 11th of um, November or 10th of November. Now, the three months widow will not expire until about the 10th of February. So, we are still within the three months window. Within the ne between the, between now and 10th of February, the presidency has the obligation or the power to send to forward the name to the Senate. So, I don't see what the problem is now. Because the 10th of February, by which the acting Excuse capacity will cease, is still about two months away. Yeah, so what really, is the problem? This has not happened before in the history of this country, has it? You see, let me just say this. That the acting capacity will lapse and the name will not be sent to the appropriate confirming body, which is the Senate. It has never happened before. But we are still within that three-month window. But let me tell you that um, the position of the CJ is a political appointment. Whatever you think of it, I can tell you immediately that from, mm -hmm. the, from my knowledge of the history of those who have become CJ in Nigeria, as a matter of fact, there is nothing that says a person who is not even within the Supreme Court cannot be appointed as CJ in Nigeria. I know and I remember when and Justice Taslim Olahali Elias was appointed CJ Nigeria. He was, he was never even a judge at all. Okay, but you, well, let's go back to what yes. you said about the Constitution yes. in Section 231. Yes. I yes. talked about who should be appointed a CJ. The most senior. The most senior. Yes. Okay, so maybe the Constitution was breached at that time. No, you see... You say he was not a judge at all in the Supreme Court, but so the Constitution the, was breached at that time. Yes. But here we are. Yes. Well, in a democracy that's yes. supposed to live or yes. operate by the Constitution, yes, yes. are you expecting a breach? It, it, that, 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 as, as we speak now, there is nothing like a breach yet. Okay. A breach yet, because the three months window, we are still within it. It's just about the first month of the acting capacity. So, okay, so besides the judge that was appointed when he wasn't in the judge in the Supreme Court, yes. has there been any other breach of the Constitution within that, in this 
appointment of the chief justice. Not at all. Not at all. So this is unprecedented. Yes, yes. There's no breach yet. There's no breach yet. You see, the council has said if somebody is appointed to act, it will only be, it will only act. It will only serve in the acting capacity for three months. The question is, why the delay? What's hold stopping his name being sent to the Senate? No, oh, no, no. It, it is, it is, the, it is the prerogative of the president to decide what to do. You see, the program of the CJ is a very sensitive appointment. Let me tell you what I'm thinking, and uh, I'm just guessing now. You see, you see, the president has a vision. And the, the obvious vision and the notion that we know the president that I'm trying to push forward my anti-corruption agenda. You understand? Mm -hmm. And if that is so, he has to be careful. You understand? Within the time allowed to know whether the person that is coming in as the new CJ would also share the same vision. Because that is, that is very important. The position of the CJ is so so important in the scheme of things the man is judiciary as far as we know a lot of other important things like the appointment of other judges into the bench at the federal level becomes his responsibility as the chairman of national judicial council so i don't think as yet that the president has breached any law if you are, if you are talking about delay uh, it is also important to talk about the personality, the integrity, and all whatnot, whoever will be confirmed as this city of Nigeria, whoever will be recommended for confirmation by the Senate. Yes, I, I don't see any breach yet. We are not at that breach yet. Okay. Have you met the acting CJ? Uh, I, don't, I, I just see the CJ of Nigeria. Nigerian C. No, have you met him? Not at all. So, no, you have not met him. <laughs> okay. Now, the fact that this what let me just explain what i meant by unprecedented yes the fact that he's recommended by the njc yes he's supposed to send name immediately is that not what the constitution says no 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 the, 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 the constitution, the constitution does not say the immediately, immediately yes. you know he's immediately yes yes but then you're saying right now the delay is possible that he's delaying because he wants to find no, no, i'm just guessing man. i'm just guessing there's no fact no, it's. I'm just speculating. Yes. Okay. Yes. That yes. that that might be the reason why he's yes. being delayed. Yes. Because yes. but there is no delay here. You see, if you want to go by the actual text of the constitution, it says the president upon recommendation by the NGC. Mm. But the, the president shall forward the name. The pre doesn't... previous presidents usually send these names almost immediately as soon as the NGC. There recommend. is no requirement because of immediacy in the provision of the constitution. So it's left to the representative yeah. of the president. You must get that straight. There is no, I know section 231.1. I also know section 231.2345. There is nothing immediate. The immediate. question will be if the president why would the president well let's just walk around your speculation why would the president want to check if the cgn would tow his line of no, no, it is not if the um just the judiciary is supposed to be independent of the executive uh, let, let, let me tell you you remember that even in america when there are um what you call ideological leanings of supreme court judges in america you see, they, see, they just take their time. For example, Obama forwarded a name before he, just before the election to the Senate of the U.S. for the confirmation of a particular judge. The Senate refused to consider it. They also do so, something like that. You see, what is happening here is not too strange. It's not strange. That is a, a, a fact that is already known now. Because it became a campaign issue, remember? that uh, um, Hillary, Hillary was saying it would have been better that the Senate does its work to consider the nomination of President Obama. But they didn't do that. Once there is no express violation of any law, you can still play within the ambits of the law to take your time and do what you must do. Okay.